Hey guys, it's here for Life here with a uh, bit of a discussion video topic thing here for you guys. Um, and I wanted to know which of the three archetypes out of this little set that's coming out, I think next week, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, it's coming out next Friday. So, which one of the three archetypes are you most excited for? Uh, if you guys don't know, Secret Forces is coming out next week. It's kind of like our... Uh, battle, no, not battle pack of <laughs> Dragons of Legend this year. Um, hit an arsenal, stuff like that. And, uh, as you can see, it's a... Yeah, it's coming out with three new archetypes um, that you'll send you the spirit beast and oh, sorry ritual beast and the uh, actual ritual oriented archetype in the cross which everybody thinks is going to be like tier zero and <laughs> all because it has Trishula I can guarantee if it didn't have Trishula um, people would not be so hyped up about it but uh, with that being said I'm going to just give a brief like discussion on like all three archetypes I think I've done a deck profile on all three back when everybody were first like announced um, but, uh, it's been a while, <laughs> and they've gotten more support. Uh, first of the Yosenji, they're pendulum-oriented, they summon out a lot of stuff, they have, uh, they're beast warriors and everything. Deck is very, very fast, it's got a, its own version of, um, Gateway, and I'm uh, looking at the Yosenji deck list, a lot of people have been dropping it for some reason, I, I, I guess it's too slow or something. I don't think it's too slow, I mean, it's still worth playing at least at two, in my opinion. But, uh... Then again, those are also not the Pendulum builds. Nobody seems to be playing the Pendulum, so I don't really get why. I personally like the Pendulums, honestly. Um, this is their big boss monster. He's, uh, Masenjo Daibaka Kamati. Yeah, I think that's him. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce that. Um, it's basically a big weasel <laughs> made out of wind. It gets it bounced to stuff whenever it's, uh, special summon or Pendulum summon, stuff like that. The deck is pretty good. It's very fast, uh, has a lot of different effects, but they're kind of like spirit monsters where they bounce back to the hand at the end phase of the turn they're summoned, or at least normal summon for the uh, level 4 ones. Um, it's a pretty... how should I say this? Uh, be because of that, it, you, it's more skill-oriented than some of the other decks that have been released lately. You really have to be careful about like what you do when you do it. Because if your opponent interrupts your summons, or if um, and, or if your opponent is able to decay you during their turn, it can get a little bit problematic. Uh, that being said, though, they do have their own version of like Infernity Barrier, but however, uh, it's really hard to use during your turn. I mean, during your opponent's turn, since you can't have since you have to have a Yosenju card on the field. Um, funny thing about that is, is that it actually works quite well if you have the Yosenju. Pendulum's out, but nobody wants to play those, because why not? I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, I do think the deck is really good. I think it's the second best deck out of um, Secret Forces. Uh, can't wait to play them. Heck, I want to play all these, honestly. <laughs> uh, next up is the Necroz, possibly the most uh, hyped up deck, uh, <laughs> just because of this deck that um, Preparation of Rights jumped up to $30, and I think it dropped after they announced that it's going to get a reprint. Uh, it's because of this deck that Manju is kind of expensive. It's because of this deck that the uh, rich, uh, the Synchro Monster, Synchro Herald, that uh, whenever it's sent to the graveyard, you get searched out a Ritual Monster or Ritual Spell. That this thing is... That that thing is... I don't know if it has gone up. I remember it was like 2 or $3 at a time. But that was because it got, it was a super, so it got, like, put in the, uh, super edition, and <laughs> nobody liked it that very much, because, uh, the price dipped. That being said, though, this deck, honestly, I think is going to have an impact on the meta. But, however, it's, what's the word I'm looking for? Crap, I lost it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this deck is really, really good. It's basically a better version of Gishki's. Everything has multiple utilities. It's basically spellbooks, but however, with a bunch of water monsters and ritual monsters instead. It's pretty good, and they actually got their own version of Sophia. It's crazy. Um, and the deck is very fun to play, but however, it can be very obnoxious to duel against since uh, you really have to worry about uh, Trishua because they do have their own version of Trishua. It's basically got the same effect, except uh, it's not like 
you don't really get to pick and choose which cards you banish. You have to banish from all three. Not that that's a bad thing, but however, it kind of is since you basically have to. His effect is only live like second turn onwards, almost like your opponent's got some stuff on, in the, on the field or in the grave already. And then we have Ritual Beast, which for some reason does not have a picture over here. <laughs> they are a fusion-oriented deck, and they basically are like um, Gladiator Beast, in which, in which case they uh, contact fusion to fusion summon, and they banish, um, unlike being shuffled into the deck. They have a lot of banishing effects. They can make very much use of Macrocosmos, uh, Deep Prison, not Deep Prison, but they don't really care if they do get Deep Prison. Uh, they can make use of Deep uh, Fissure. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, the deck, however, it really only has one beater in the deck. It is kind of... It, it can do stuff, it's just the stuff it does is not as great as what Yosenju or Necros can do. That being said, though, it is one of the more fun to play decks um, that have come out recently. I honestly love playing it. Um, I can't wait to build it. It reminds me a lot of Gustos <laughs> um, in the sense that they're basically a continuation of Gustos. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> uh, with that being said, the deck is um, probably... Yeah, definitely the weakest out of all three decks that are coming out in into Secret Forces. Now, does that mean that it's a bad deck? No, it's a fun deck. It's very, very um, good for what it is, but however, I don't see it doing very well in the meta. Um, not that I really care, because I'm probably going to build it regardless, and that also means that it's going to be cheaper. <laughs> but however, a lot of people do want to build this deck, so with that being said, it's price is definitely going to still be up there because people want to play it, and when people want to play it, that causes the price to go up. So, with that being said, which one am I most excited to play? Honestly, I'd rather really say it's a tie between Yosenju and Ritual Beast, although I also do really want to build a Necroz, just simply because I've always liked Ritual Monsters, and I started to put together a Gishki deck, um, but however, Gishkis are hard to find, <laughs> which is sad since they're pretty... They're, they're good for what they are. <laughs> uh, now, with that being said, what are you most excited for? Uh, honestly, I cannot wait for this deck. Uh, not deck. <laughs> this uh, group of decks is set. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Um, anyway, so guys, with that being said, rate, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. I can't wait to hear what you guys are most excited for in the comments. See you guys later.